Hello! In this tutorial, I will show you how you can simulate a cannon launching a cannonball into a tower of blocks and destroying it. My program uses a combination of Blender and Python. Now, I will show you what it will look like. I have these files. Here I have the software for Blender. This is my Python file. Let me just run it. Here the Blender. This software is loading. We better wait for a few seconds. Let me just shrink this a bit. Now, all we have to do is click anywhere that's not in the square, for example here, so the square will disappear. The My cannon is right here somewhere. I better zoom out a bit. Oops. Now, to run this animation, I will press the space bar. The first round might be a bit slow because they are generating each picture. But after the first round, things will get quick quicker. So let's have a look. You can see we have our frames here. This is the end of our animation. It's almost finished, and since all the pictures are generated, now they can go through them smoothly. There is an orange point in the center of our cannonball. This will tell us where it is, since it's now behind all those blocks. I can rotate around. Let me zoom in a bit. Here we have the amount of frames per second. I can select one of these and they will automatically go to that position. Let's have the bird's eye view. And I better zoom out a bit. We can also choose to watch this in a cartoon form. I press this. Now the cartoon form, or any this form, will not let, let us tell how far something is by distance. These are falling, but they are still the same size. If I change this to realistic form, as they fall, they get smaller and smaller. I'll just click to this angle, change it to realistic form, or let's have a look at this angle. And they automatically change it to this form, so I'll change it back to realistic. Now, let's get into how we can create this. And it will be really easy to change it a bit so that this building is taller, the ball is faster or heavier. The sky is the limit. When we're finished, we simply close this. And we don't have to save it. This is the Python program that I ran. We have a look at what's inside it. I import OS. And using os.system, I call Blender. This will open up the Blender, but I also want to add this Python file to it. The location of the Python file is 
This CD will return the current folder location. I want this Python file inside the current folder. So by running this, I will run this the Blender with this Python program. Now let's see what's inside this Python program. I import Blender Python and BPY for short. This line of code here lets Blender go to frame 1 since we want our animation to start from frame 1. Then I want to go to object mode. Now if I just open Blender, you can see what I mean. Here is already in object mode, but if it's if it was not in object mode, things will get a bit tricky or it won't work. Now Blender, over here, we select all and delete. That is because first they give us these things and we do not want them. So we want to delete them. Here I choose how many frames my animation will have. Here I create the ground for our animation. First, I add a plane. I choose its size and location. Then, I want it to be rigid body. Over here, I want the type to be passive. When an object in Blender is passive, that means that gravity will not affect it. It will just stay in midair. And and things can't push it. I want the collision shape to be mesh. The collision shape is the way two things will collide with each other. For example, if I have a ball and I choose the collision shape to be a cube, it will collide like anything that touches it will collide like the ball is a cube. A mesh will basically let the things that collide with it only collide with the walls or I, or I mean the faces. I want the body mass to be 0 0.1, friction is 1, and restitution is 0. Now I create the building. That building is made up of you can see I have 5 by 10 by 5 blocks. Actually, it will be more clear if I put this on top. So it is 5 blocks wide, 5 blocks in length, and 10 blocks in height. Here I create the block, a cube with a size and location. I want the collision shape to be box, and I guess I said it wrong, it wasn't supposed to be a cube, it's a box. The mass is 0 0.05 kilograms, and here I have the friction and restitution. So here I created my building of blocks. The location is, here I choose the X, Y, and Z's. Now let me go down. Now I create the tube for the cannon. I have a cylinder, and that. First I create a cylinder. I choose the location the depth, the radius, but that cylinder has no place so we can put a ball inside. So I remove the top face of our cylinder, so it will be sort of like a container. Now, after I remove the top of the cylinder, 
which I go down here. I want to create the cannon launcher. The cannon launcher is just a smaller cylinder inside that cylinder. You see, I have this. Maybe I can demonstrate with a paint. First, I have my cylinder with this face already with this side already empty, so it's like a container. I have another cylinder, and I put it in a location that's inside the cylinder. So my the cylinder I put inside, which I call the cannon launcher, is half the length of the cannon of the actual cannon. The reason this is a launcher is let me just put this few. I will have a cannonball. That goes inside this cannon. That cannonball will go a little into that cylinder over here. You just I will put the cannonball a little inside the little cylinder in there, so that when we start the animation, this will explode out since it is not supposed to overlap in another object. That is the way I will make my cannonball launch. The more inside, I mean the more into the cylinder I put my cannonball, the more force there is when it explodes. If I just put it a little bit inside, it will only come out a little. So it's sort of like an, a reaction when two things are compressed together. So here I have the cannonball. I choose the radius. The location is a cannon location. Except for this coordinate, the Z coordinate, where I lifted up lifted the ball up a bit so that it will not be too inside of that cannon launcher. And explosion will be too big. After the ball is inside, after the ball is inside of that cannon, I rotate the cannon. So cannon dot select set is true. That means I selected the cannon. Then I rotate it around the y axis. So this part is all finished. So I'll just run this one more time. So I just press enter or double click. We wait for a while. I'll make this a bit smaller. I click, I zoom out a bit, and press space. After this, how about if I make the building a bit thinner, or should say a bit more narrow? Let's see what that would be like. So I just go here, I edit it. Instead of for y in range 5, let's say 3. And for x in range 3, let's make it for z in range 15. Now this will be a bit more interesting.
I click, zoom out a bit, press space. The reason why you see that it hits that side is because you can see that the cube, the middle cube is not exactly in the middle of this line. Let me just change the location as we're zoom in a bit. Oops. Let's check out the bird's eye view in realistic form. And how about just one more modification? This time, I'll make it like a wall. So I'll change this X into 1 and change this Y into a 10. Oops. Press space. Let's go to the bird's eye view in realistic form. So click this. This is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called NetsEDU. Today is April 23rd, 2020. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please have a look at my other videos. They might help you into programming or in math. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.